Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Claudia, but you can call me Cloudsy. And today we are going to be playing What Remains of Edith Finch. I have been pretty curious about this game for quite a while now. I've heard excellent things. And today, honestly, I just felt like playing something a little bit more short and sweet, story driven, um, potentially emotionally damaging. <laughs> For anyone that knows me, they would probably know that I'm a big fan of games that make me emotional, make me feel things. I just think it's like great storytelling. If you can make me cry, laugh, whatever, then I'm sold. But yeah, I am really, really excited to get started and I hope you guys are excited as well. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the game. This music is very loud, <laughs> but really cool, like, organ. What remains of Edith Finch? Not gonna lie, nothing throws me off more than a game that... Yeah, nothing throws me off more than a game that just, like, throws you right in. <laughs> I click play and I'm just immediately playing a game. No loading menu, nothing. Um, okay, cool. Right, wait, is this loading? Oh, Edith Finch. Guess that's me. Oh. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. Oh. Cool. Okay. So we're gonna um we're gonna mess with this a little bit. I think the music I think this can all go down just a little bit so I can actually hear her talking. Okay, hopefully that's better. Oh. Okay, so shift is zoom in and not- oh, okay. I lived here until I was 11, Sorry. <laughs> but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Oh, she's got cute little, uh, gloves. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Can I take them? I don't think so. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. I love that it's like showing us her journal entries, like just, it's like, I feel like we're like in a story right now. Oh, okay. A neat little effect. Also, I'm getting like, uh, like the strange vibes with the journal entries. <laughs> In a will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Okay. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Apparently it did. The finches. Can we like... Wait, can we just go like, what's over here? Oh, wait, what's down here? Is this a game where you can explore? I honestly have no idea. I guess you can. Is it gonna let me... Okay, I feel like I'm not supposed to be down here. <laughs> The truth is, oh. even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. I don't, I don't really know where I was supposed to go here, so let's just go back and follow the path. 
I wish I could walk faster. <laughs> okay, just keep going this way. It probably would have let us down there anyway. So I do understand that, like, we're trying to understand what happened to her family. No one had driven this way in a long time, right? but I saw a few hoof prints. Hey guys, if you see my cat, I'm sorry. <laughs> Making her way across. Oh, a little deer. This is literally Life is Strange vibes. Bye. my cat. Hello. <laughs> She's like needs all the attention today, so you might be hearing her meowing in the background. Whoa. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. This is a crazy looking house. Oh my god, the music. This is water over here. Wow. This is like the most, like the craziest house I've ever seen. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Okay, now I'm afraid of the house. What's wrong with it? Oh my god, I love wind chimes. These ones are kind of creepy though, but... Normally, I like them. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have to climb through there, but let's just double check. I heard something moving around in the garage. Oh, hell no. Let me in. Just kidding. I think I have to go through this door. Let me just go to the front. It's probably like a raccoon or something. Okay. Some accessibility. Nice. missing. Oh, I can see my feet. Okay. Oh, I have the key. Um, what do I do first? <laughs> they, they can't give me two separate options. I think it was going to try to let me go through the uh, little doggy door. So let's just do that before I go into the house. Let's see. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Okay. Oh, like a fryer? Why, why do they have that? Hmm. Oh my gosh, the music. The power had been turned off the night we left. Hmm. Okay. For the first time in years. I felt like I was home. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Dawn, Lewis, Edith, that's me, and Eddie? Edie? I think it's Eddie. Okay. Witch's Kitchen. The Vikings. A Viking's Belly. 
Weird recipes. Okay, interesting. Definitely, um, like an eclectic family. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. Because yeah, they're probably like, what is this crazy looking house? I do not want to go there. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. <laughs> of course not. Okay. Oh my god, there's just so many places for me to look. Okay, it's it's too much. Okay, that's where we came from. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Oh, that's a very interesting visual. Why did they run out? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Oh, it is Edie. Oh, okay. So some weird tension between mom and uh, grandma. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Oh, it's out there. It's a nice, that's a, this is a nice view. <laughs> Metamorphosis, labyrinths, the hunter's roast, the witch's kitchen. Oh, okay. I feel like they have a lot of interesting sounding books. Okay, the basement. Let's just, uh, let's wait. Barbara. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara along with the rest of the house. Okay. The song is so pretty. The music in this game is already 10 out of 10. And yeah, I'm a sucker for... Ugh. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's so gross. I'm a sucker for good music in, in video games. Uh... Okay, that's where we came from there. Okay. Missing. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Oh. Oh gosh. What is this? Oh, is this the front door? What's this? I don't know what that is, but let's, um, this is actually such an interesting detail because they have this, like, the, I don't even know what it's called, but it's, like, for insulation. Like, all along? I don't know what's going on there. Super creepy. Okay, let's go, let's go upstairs before After we go Milton downstairs. After disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Oh, this is weird. Whoa. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. What, what are these like drag marks? I don't know, mom seems kind of, I don't know. I mean, we don't know the full story though, but. 
guess we'll Lewis find out. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Does this key we have work on every lock? Because I haven't tried it anywhere else yet. <laughs> or was it like, you're supposed to find where it, uh... Oh. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Okay, can... Oh, shit. I... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we go in any other... Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. This is so weird. Okay. I feel like I was not supposed to end up there yet. <laughs> oh. Wait, there's so much. Barbara. Okay, that's mom. Barbara was a child star for two oh, years. No. Was it? No. Until America grew out of it. Oh, oh my god. I was like, what is that? It's like a... <laughs> it looks like Sasquatch back there. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Barbara Finch. My friend Bigfoot. Calvin. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. Calvin. Huh? He was dead? What? Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> I'm so confused. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. There's a shag carpet in this bathroom. That's very unsanitary. <laughs> oh, Edie. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. place is literally a maze um I don't know I feel like I shouldn't go in there just yet because I feel like that's where we're meant to go and I want to ex explore a little bit more so I think I can actually look in this people let's see oh there's also that there okay Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library Oh. Lovely. <laughs> A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Hmm. Okay, let's... Maybe I do go downstairs? Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Okay, yeah. I, I should have known. We're... I think the whole point was to just try to find where the key belonged, and I'm guessing it belongs up there. So, um, okay. Sorry, I'm just gonna double check. Okay, I think we can safely go into that underwater sea room. Um, I'm like, if you've never watched one of my videos or if you didn't watch my Life is Strange playthrough, I'm like super big on looking at everything so I know this game runs like about a couple like one or two not one hour but like two hours it's probably gonna take me like a million years <laughs> we'll see did I look in this one yeah I did all right let's go it's interesting that her mom didn't seal this room off considering this is what's in here 
249. All right. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Oh. Hmm. Oh, little kitty. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. I'm guessing there's no plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. I'm so scared. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Orca's Island Calves. Oh, that's pretty. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Oh. <gasps> oh, we're going to get to like Being go inside for the first time. I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. We're gonna get to like see all those rooms. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Hear anything? Oh, a little map. Interesting. December nineteen forty-seven. This is literally like a time capsule. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Mm. Molly Finch. Oh. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. Oh. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. She's not going to eat the gerbil, right? Oh, like that's the food, maybe? I eat the pumpkin, possibly. Wow, that's pretty out there. Okay, we're really dark. Bathroom. My oh. Halloween candy was all gone. I thought it was a real pumpkin. <laughs> I don't want to eat the gerbil food. Mom, can I come out now? Her hand had like a. Uh... Right? Did I see that? Her hand had like something on it. A little like spot. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Oh. That's so sad. That's a tall sink. Well. I mean, we're just short, but I ate, huh? I kept eating and eating. Maybe it's just freckles on her hand? Oh my god, this poor little girl. I'm just gonna eat this too. I ate a lot of things that night. Okay, now what? Then I heard chirping outside my window. Hello. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Oh, there's chains on the windows. Oh my gosh, she's gonna fall out the window. And suddenly, <laughs> I was a cat. Oh. What? Oh. 
Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Uh, can we jump? Oh, we can. <gasps> I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Uh, where can I go? Oh, we're purring. <laughs> Can I, uh... Hello? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Oh. <laughs> uh... didn't even look at me. Hello? Okay. <laughs> Where's the bird? can't deal with the purring noises. Like, it's, it's so cute. I jumped and I almost got her. Oh, we're getting angies. Where are you? Oh, Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I? What is happening? Okay. Can I, uh... I could tell she was getting really tired. Yeah, she's like, Now, I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Oh yeah, we're hungry. Is that an actual person out there? What is that? Um... Okay, then we gotta go up... here. I gobbled her up... <gasps> and suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Where? Oh? Rabbits. Rabbits. Om nom. We're hungry. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was not expecting this at all when I started playing this game. Rabbits. Oh god, come here! Oh, oh, oh! I didn't know we could, like, reach down and grab him. Oh god. I imagined his face <gasps> looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. <laughs> then I flew off to find something bigger. Okay. <laughs> that was disgusting. <laughs> A mama rabbit. <laughs> A mama rabbit. Let's go. God. She was almost too big to carry. <gasps> I started choking, 
but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Oh! Oh. Ah. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> oh. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to like move. Where did you roll <laughs> down? I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, what I'm the? Just hungrier than ever. Oh. Okay, wait. Come here. Fishy. Oh, right there. Oh. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Seal. Oh, come here. Come here. No, 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 no. This way. Eh. Come on. Am I supposed to be able to easily, like, get- get those? Here we go. Oh. We are struggling to be a shark right now. I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. <laughs> Did all this actually happen, or is she just like have a, a wild imagination? Oh, okay, wait. Everything had changed. Oh. What are we? A snake? What is that? An octopus? This is so bizarre. Okay. What am I doing here? Come on. Oh. <laughs> Me trying to to figure out the controls is. Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. Oh, now we're gonna eat people. Oh no. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I knew it was coming and I still jumped. Uh So I did it. I'm coming for you. 
Nom nom. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. Uh -huh. So I swam towards it. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Me. <laughs> oh, out the toilet. Nice. Yum. Which way are we going? I got closer and closer. Okay. Oh, room. Where are we going? Gerbil? Okay, I don't know where I'm going. Oh. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. I don't know, man. I kind of believe it. That's wild. Uh, I don't, well, okay. I don't know if I believe it or if something. I feel like this is just, you know, she was a little kid, so I feel like that was just her way of like processing whatever trauma she was going through but okay we can <laughs> close okay <laughs> okay <clears throat> i got like chills that at that end at the end there that was actually quite something here's the open uh jar Okay, is there anything else I need to get I can't in describe here? it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Molly, are you, uh... I heard a cat. <gasps> Molly? This will be obvious later, but... My mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Oh shit, maybe it is. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Oh, okay, so Edie is great-grandma. Louis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. So everybody in this house just, like, freaking died? Is that why we, like, escaped? Built 1937, Sven. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. <laughs> nope, it was... 
It was a dragon. <laughs> Edie won't go. 72-year-old woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Oh, that's funny. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Mm. Mole man beneath the Finch house. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My oh. mom was furious. <laughs> oh, man. Her room was like a museum. Okay, hold your horses. It's got our pillbox, nice. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. <laughs> okay, let's try and uh, get in here. Oh. The uh, carpet bathroom. <laughs> it's so gross. Ew. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife, Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. Yeah, a pretty big pink trace. Okay, that's how you get out. Okay. Are we going to be able to find, like, other keys? Oh. Or we could just do that. Eh. Oops, sorry. Open. There's a secret in this bathroom. Oh. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh. Oh, dark room? What, are, what is this? Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. Yeah. He never put it down. Like I said, life is strange vibes. Which one came out first? I'm not quite sure. back let's go back <laughs> sorry I feel like I'm um can I climb out yet I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit here maybe I mean it was saving so that worries me all right we'll come back should I read this Oh, okay. My bad. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their that fortune. That like a book. <laughs> and misfortune. Oh. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. Mm. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Jeez. Can't escape the curse. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven mm. and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Edie. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Okay. That's it. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. 
Hmm. Okay. Odin Finch, joining the great majority. Sven Edie. I already like, feel, <laughs> feel myself getting emotional. This is just so bizarre. Okay, back through here. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't even look at these. Okay. Milton. So, Milton just, like, was all through here. I wonder what happened to him. Oh my gosh, the music. Okay, so he was the photographer. Oh. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. Nineteen sixty one. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Mm. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Oh God. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Sam! Calvin! Dino's ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Oh, no, no, no. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Oh, shit. What do we do, fly it, like, and around? Maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. Oh. That's what I want to remember about my brother. <laughs> the day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Okay. Calvin's story <laughs> felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Oh. Okay, I'm already crying. <laughs> Something about that was just really, like... Well, it's obviously sad, but, like... I don't know, something about the swinging back and forth and... I don't know. It was just, like, weirdly beautiful, <laughs> but also, like, messed up. Okay. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. I don't... I don't blame them.
Oh god. My makeup is in my eyes. <laughs> oh, I was trying to see what I look like. My camera. Okay. Like, oh, my eyes, they sting. Alright, it's over here. No secret passageway. Cool. Mm. Okay, come on. Oh. Whoops, no, look up. Okay, interesting. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Hmm. We're here. Oh, wait. Oh. Hades' father, Odin, built the original house. I never saw that before. Okay. Interesting. <sighs> Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Swan Lake. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Mm. Yeah, I feel like child stars always have a tough time. Not always, but a lot of the time. They just get swept up into like a world that they are too young to be a part of. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Dreadful stories. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Whose voice is that? It sounds familiar. As a child <laughs> star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. Rude. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <gasps> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's <laughs> father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. <laughs> what if I really? tried? A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to. That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement <laughs> door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding. Until finally, the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Twenty minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. 
So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. She reached for the music box. Okay, I did this earlier. She listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Oh, I gotta go. I'm doing this. Did I pull a key out earlier? I did that earlier. This is this is so crazy. She found Rick's crutch and imagine the worst. I'm school. Oh. Oh. Ew. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. What the fuck? What is with all these like freak accidents? That's so weird. trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. <laughs> then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... Well, yeah. She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? <laughs> and she was <laughs> so goofy. holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Oh no, not again. Where do I need to go? Walter? Walter, are you there? Walter had vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orcas Island police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Oh, fuck no. I returned, saw the hook man, and speechless. He was quite smashing. And he was. He couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara. There's got to be another way out of here. In here. Go. That night, she played her part beautifully. about abandoning Walter, but just couldn't do it. What am I gonna do here? Leave Molly's room? Molly's door hadn't been opened in years. The hinges grow. I do. Hello? Oh. <laughs> I was like, how do I get downstairs?
Do I gotta hit him again or what? Hello? Her book man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Mm-mm. It's probably him. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. What? what kind of monsters they were and she realized what was about to happen she was going to be famous and with her final breath Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life I wasn't there myself but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. Mm. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Ew. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, let's uh, close it. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, I'm thinking we gotta go back back out and then maybe we can get the key for the uh basement i think we gotta go down there i guess now i know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box yeah oh i never went up here mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left okay just kidding um, okay, where is that music box again? It's downstairs, right? It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. I know, I literally just did it. Oh. Let's do it. Got it. I don't like creepy basements. Okay. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Literally everything in this house was off limits. <laughs> what is she talking about? I 
I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. <laughs> it turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Hey, what the? I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. Oh no. Why are we talking about that? Is he down here? She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Mm. If there's a pattern in all these stories, Tasty beans. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Oh. Oh. That's Walter. Oh, that's where I came from. Okay. Let's look at it. <clears throat> Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive the leave. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. 1976. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. What, what is this that he's eating? Eggs? <laughs> and then one day, <laughs> like everything yolk. just... 2005. Stop. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe you got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while I still can. Oh, we can go through here. Okay. Oh, oops, oops. I know it's out there somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. So crazy. And Calvin. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, I don't like that we're on train tracks. Whatever's out there, <laughs> I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Bro. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. I knew it. <laughs> the second I saw train tracks, I was like, oh, he's dead. <laughs> this is so messed up. It's like the one second, the one time he decides to venture out. Man, that's so unfair. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. So, yeah, this is where he sat. This little can opener. Oh, they were peaches. He was eating peaches. I was like, what is that that he's eating? Because he never got to see these places. India, France. Open. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Probably. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house... I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Yeah. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Hmm. Trying to bury something that's still alive. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe, maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. That's a good point. You're like willing it into existence, but I don't know, man. Everybody died in a weird way. That this is a beautiful shot right here. Wow. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Yeah, no. Oh, let me take some screenshots. Wait, let me come back over here. Really quickly. Just want to get this right here. This game is very, like, it's so hauntingly beautiful. But also very depressing. <laughs> Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. Who's she, who's she talking to? Somebody else in the family? And the history you're a part of. Ooh. I think we're gonna go that way, but the 
Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Any of it seems possible. We've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. True. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? That's a great point. God. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... Oh, this was the cemetery where that person doing that. I thought that the was a real person earlier. The cemetery made me more uncomfortable than the human one. Oh. Not all the dead pets. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Oh, no. Coco. Oh, I had a dog growing up named Coco. Um, Bailey. Oy. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. I feel like Edie was, like, obsessed with this curse to me. I mean, she designed this. She's the one who memorialized all of them. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't blame her. But it almost feels like she was obsessed with it before anybody else even, before anybody, like, actually died, so... Oh, the little cat. Little cat angel. Oh, his little... Oh, His little figure. Figurine there. Barbara. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Oh. How do I, how do I do this? Oh, here we go. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Oh. Oops. Am I supposed to do something else with it? Or do I have to go back? Hold on. Let me just double check. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh no. I think that was it. Okay, let's go back. Mm. Is that a house? The side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Yeah. 
Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Sixty-nine, eighty-two. Young. Uh, seventy-nine, ten, thirteen. Jeez. Oh my God. That's even younger. Jeez. Like way younger. Ugh. Uh, two. Uh. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. We never found Milton's body. So my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along, for me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. Looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I apologize for the noises coming out of my mouth. Now it makes so much more sense who she's like talking to. Holy shit. Oh my god, please. This is so dangerous. Oh my god. That. Jesus. Alright, is she gonna die by the end of this? I hope not. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like really scared she's gonna die by the end of this. I hope not. They were both pretty intense. Ew. <laughs> okay, hold on. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Dip. Sam spent his life shooting oh. photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. I feel like that's common for a lot of photographers. They don't want to be in front of the camera. they much rather be behind it. Okay, let's do it. Dawn, I promise, you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are gonna last a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Am I gonna have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Perfect. 
It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Hmm. <laughs> it's just being... Oh, that's good. Oh, it's us. Or it's her, I mean. You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. It's still freezing, though. Are we taking a picture of anything? The man peeing? <laughs> Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hold still while I take a picture of you. I definitely won't be moving. Are you done yet? Does it sound like I'm done? <sighs> Nothing quite like being outside. <laughs> hey! <laughs> that's a keeper. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Eh. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? No. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Sick. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Wh huh? Where? Where? Huh? Dad, oh. I, I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Yourself squared up. Elbows. Great shot, Don. <laughs> oh. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? That's terrible. Oh, oh, oh. Go, go, go. Sorry, Don. Just got to reset the timer. Oh, I didn't realize what I was doing. Uh, run. Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about it. Oh! <gasps> Is that how he died? Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. <gasps> well, shit. Wait, so... <sighs> so, Dawn is her mom and Sam was her, Dawn, was her mom's dad. Wow, she really watched her, that happen to her dad. Holy shit. Okay, this game is rude. <sighs> so rude. Okay. Ugh. Hmm. No, no. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. Meal, ready to eat. After Sam died, 
My mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Yeah. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... Okay, let's wait a second. Okay, let's look at this one first. Divorce contract. Interesting. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. sweetie hmm hello Sam I told you I don't want to talk right now I wonder what he saw pop the bubbles eh there we go What is happening? Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. Oh. I wish you could have told us. Oh, he... The world he saw. He drowned? Oh no. Hey, there's so much I don't understand about Gregory. About everything. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. I'm 
sure is happy. And he'd want you to be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. Wherever Gregory is. Did Gregory just disappear from the tub? Or did Gregory drown? I don't know. Yeah, like, I don't... Uh, I don't I don't know that they're cursed. So they all just have some weird... I don't know, dude. I don't even know. A poem for a Gus. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. made him come of course but Gus stood far apart just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart oh, oh, oh. okay I gotta do this I tried to talk him out of it but though he'd never met her we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I, I now remember. pronounce you husband and wife. Oh. You may kiss the bride. Are there other words somewhere? photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> he said, nope. Oh, oh, oh. Eh. <laughs> there we go. Up and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Oh no, struck by lightning. Uh, oh. Oh god. Rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. <laughs> oh no. Not the lanterns. <gasps> I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. Damn. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Okay. Ooh. Getting close to the end of this family tree here. Okay. Raise flag, breakfast, quiet time. Dawn. Sweep, trash. Oh, sweep, trash, Gus, mop, mow, yard, <laughs> Greg. 
Be a baby. <laughs> I wish I would have brought some tissues in here with me. I need to blow my nose. <laughs> my mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Yeah, I don't blame her. This is so bad for somebody who's pregnant right now. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Okay. Sorry. Sitting here for a while. All right. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Is Sanjay still alive? Um... Oh. Okay. okay. Let's go. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Louis was born a year later. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. Damn, well, that answers my question. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. had to get a little bigger but Edie was used to that <laughs> yeah this house is crazy hmm it's really like really pretty up here I would love to have uh, something like this with like the string lights and for a while things were good almost normal hmm <laughs> Reading is a hoot. But it didn't last. No, of course not. Is it just like something to do with this house? Like, I don't know. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Oh god, okay. We have to go in through that window, but I just wanted to see if there's anything else. Oh, no. Whoops. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Milton was the little artist. He drew. He was drawing the stuff in the little secret passageways. happy to finally have another painter in the family. This music is so pretty. <laughs> oh. Aww. Oh yeah, she does have a little baby bomb.
Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. I feel like it's supposed to go faster than this. Faster. I don't know what's happening here. Oh. What the heck? This is so good. through the door. I mean, they don't know what happened to Milton, right? I was four when Milton disappeared. Oi. Oi, oi. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Where'd he go? Whatever Milton had found in the house. Mom didn't want it getting out. Whatever he had found in the house? <laughs> oh God. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until mom got him a job at the cannery. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room, except Lewis. This is so cool. This would be like a really sick spot. It's gotta be weird going into her like her brother's rooms. Oh, there's a key. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. <laughs> that part of him lived on. <laughs> oh, this is not a key. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. It smelled very, very familiar. Yeah, it smelled like probably weed and incense. <laughs> Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. <laughs> oh. High school diploma. <laughs> I love this.
I just love the the atmosphere, like how different every room is. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannon. Oh, oh, oh. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... Uh-uh. What? What am I doing? Wonder. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. Things that have not names. Uh. He knew it was all in his head. Trying to do both at the same time. Oh, fish. Oh god, there's so many of them. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. Oh. Whoa. I worried about him then. Very fine. What Daydreaming is Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Of course. Of course they don't care about his well-being. Like a whole new Lewis. I s uh -huh. So I let him go on. That doesn't... Uh. I even encouraged him. That's not how that works. It seemed very promising at first. Oh god, it's filling up the whole freaking thing. He told me he'd made a new friend. Hi. Aww. He like got lost in it. Like, I'm just... It's not a real friend, lady. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He this built the so city cool. up slowly, brick <laughs> by brick. Then he made musicians. I'm supposed to be doing this while I'm doing all this, but I am. <laughs> eh. Eh. It's hard to do and both songs for them to play. I feel like that's the point. <laughs> he talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He 
no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. <laughs> St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. <laughs> Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Oh. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. That's really sad. He's just lost in his own mind. Okay. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a beautiful prince, a handsome queen. <laughs> I like that. Handsome queen. Oh, I could go either way. That's cool. The queen was on her own quest for. Uh, radiant rainbows. Eh. Radiant rainbows. Yay! Oh. He followed the sound of her. Oh, oops. Electric sitar. Let's go this way for once. Electric sitar. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. Oh my God. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Did he though? Oh God, the fish. Oh God, please but he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Okay, that might have been my favorite part of this entire game so far. Um. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm kind of like speechless. <laughs> Just processing Began all Began to this. forget the world we know. That's well, definitely is. 
I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. So sad. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. What are we doing? I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. What happened to him? Did he have some, like, work accident? Including the wise Calico who'd insisted on advising him. Molly. His queen waited, holding his crown. There was only one thing left to do. Did he stick his own head in the thing? Like, oh god. This is disturbing. And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> uh Oh, that's like really, <laughs> really depressing. <sighs> I feel like that's such a, um, I don't know, I don't have like the right words. Um, such like an interesting way to depict I guess depression you know oh no ah uh, god I need to go get tissues <laughs> okay Okay. <laughs> I want to. I, I kind of feel like a lot of this is like. Like, was the monster. The monsters. That, you know, I feel like they keep referencing monsters and stuff in this game, and I almost feel like the monster is like mental illness or like depression or something. I mean, I don't know if that's true. I don't really know how. I mean, they all died kind of in different ways but a lot of it is kind of makes me think of mental illness in a way um
but I'm not, I'm not sure. I could be reading into a lot of it too much, but I mean, this one was like, obviously I was referencing that, but the one, you know, the one who was Walter, was it? Who was, um, never left his, that little room for years and years. And then when he finally left, he just got hit by a train. Like, to me, like, that almost feels like he, like, gave in to his depression, too. You know what I mean? Like, it's all, like, maybe it's all, like, a metaphor. I don't know. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me mm. to start packing. Mm. She's like, we're, we're done with this. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. Loving memory, Lewis Finch. But I understand why we left. There's too many horrible memories here, yeah. It's like, how can you stay here? Especially for her mother to lose both her children. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Oh God. Oh, her room is so cute. Mm. All right, let's hear it. Wow, like the full circle from the beginning of the game. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Oof. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom said the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Oh. Or that Edie had a key to it. Interesting. I like how you unlock little bits of information as like the story goes on, like, oh, we can, like, this is how you can get into this place. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. Is that... Is that why? 
Uh, I don't know. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. History of the Finches by Edie Finch. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. I love her voice. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. Oh. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. I got turned around. Oh. I mean, there's literally a flashing light. How do you not? For a while, I wandered. I started seeing things. Deer again? I wonder if deer have like a specific symbolism in, Things in stories I'd forgotten and stuff? had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, oh. a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. She was gone, like, she left or she was... she passed. We both tried to make the best of it. Oh, I see. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. 
and appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. Oh my god, we're in? Oh my god. <laughs> but I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Help. Oh god. Well, <laughs> I'm filming this on a Saturday night. What a <laughs> great way to spend my Saturday night. <laughs> Just sobbing. <laughs> so, um, so the one thing that I feel like we never got to do was go up and, excuse me, go up into the attic, right? Did I miss something that I was, like, supposed to get up there? Um, because it was locked. I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, so that's maybe the only thing that I'm kind of, like, curious about still, but, uh, I knew that Edith probably died. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I just thought maybe we, we were gonna watch her die, which I think would have, would have been messed up. So I'm not surprised that they didn't do it do it like that. But what a like twist for her to for it to end with her her child reading her journal. Um, yeah, this was honestly a hauntingly beautiful game. Um, I had zero clue what I was getting into when I started playing this. I thought it was gonna be more like puzzle based, um, but it, it was just more just like a like a interactive like walking sim, which I'm not complaining. It was it was beautiful. I enjoyed it. Um, it's very sad. I will say that. Um, but I feel like I have so many unanswered questions, <laughs> like. Were they actually cursed? Um, also, I wish I... I really hate that we didn't get to see the rest of Edie's story at the end there. It got cut off, which was... I don't know. I was really, really excited to see what else she was going to say. And then... And then obviously we didn't get to, so... So that part was a little unsatisfying, but I feel like that was kind of probably what they were going for. Um, and yeah, like I was saying earlier, like I don't know if like a lot of this was like met a metaphor for mental illness, um, or like were they really just cursed? Why were they cursed? <laughs> so many questions. Um, but. Yeah, overall, I'm, I'm really glad that I got to experience this, and I'm glad I got to experience it with all of you guys. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it here. I just wanted to thank you guys so, so much for coming on this journey with me. It was amazing, and I would love to play more games similar to this. If you guys like first playthroughs and Let's Plays, and you want to see more, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It really, really helps out the channel. And I hope to see you all in the next one.